what's happening everyone welcome on back to the channel i hope they're having a wonderful great fantastic pretty good day out there <laughs> today anyways today we're going to listen to john miles we're going to listen to his uh song music which is off of the album rebel the first track actually off of the album which was released in 1976 i have never heard of john miles as far as i know there's always that chance that you know i've heard like a song or something uh but yeah does not ring any sort of bell here uh but this was recommended to me hold on let me pull up some names by graham harley gaia eternal you rang in as well and then i see the name also pops up hold on let me put some names up here m kelly 1004 uh, and then I believe that there may be some more recommendations, but it's hard when I'm looking through my system trying to figure it out. Um, but I see a lot of names popping up, but I think it's referencing Miles Davis. Anyways, John Miles, no idea what he sounds like, what the music's going to be, but that's, I would say, 80% of the fun of this. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right in. We'll talk about it after. Well, let's go. You gotta let that breathe for a second. You have to let the you gotta let the space just empty out for a moment after that filled bowl. Okay, John Miles, that was an incredible little piece of music there. That was that was really nice. A lot of feeling in there. That's what I'm feeling about that. So let me just kind of walk you through my thoughts for just a moment. It began soft sung very very wonderful voice i love the little peaks into the higher range there, almost like a falsetto a near falsetto perhaps and then some nice stately passionate piano to layer it all down the first i don't know 30 seconds minute whatever it was i'm like okay this is a nice little slow song it's going to be one of those kind of balladry kind of tracks and i'm like okay that's fine i like that it's not a sound i dislike but you know what then the the seven eight time signature comes in Guitar comes sweeping in early from the back with just that high sustained note before ripping into it just a little bit. Then these grand orchestrations start to arrive and change up the feeling of the music. And I was like, you know, this isn't going to be a, a straightforward ballad. No, this is going to be something a little bit different. And by the end of it, can I tell you, I don't know anything about John. I don't know anything about the music. You know, obviously the lyrics are pretty straightforward, but this feels like a celebration of music. This feels like a celebration and also a little bit of a of a, a wave goodbye. I I believe to an era. That's what I'm feeling out of it. Okay, that let me dive into the lyrics, which it's not gonna take us very long, but I do want to talk about the music a little bit more. Um, so music was my first love, it will be my last, music of the future, music of the past. To live without my music would be impossible to do in a, in a world full of troubles, my music pulls me through. Okay, and that statement is pretty much repeated through the rest of the track. It's very straightforward. It's an ode to music, a love letter to music, and what music has meant to, of course, John personally, and with all of us watching, like, if you're watching this video, music means something to you. So we can all understand and relate to his sentiments in the music. It's simply stated, but we all can relate to that. Whether you like the song or not, that's a, that's a different story, but we can all relate to that if you're watching this video and you're, if you're on the channel right now. I feel like, like I said, it's an ode to music, but also saying goodbye to it because this feels like something of its of its age. Uh, this was released 1976, so I don't know anything about music history, so just, just walk the walk with me. We'll talk our way through this. Um, his voice and his singing remind me of like Carpenter's music. It's kind of that feel good, easy listening kind of sound. But those orchestrations that were brought in kind of make the music something else. It's, it's bigger and it's grander and it feels like something different. Like I said during it, <laughs> some of the music reminded me of ELO a little bit for some reason. And then don't, don't tell me I'm wrong. I know the notes are slightly different, but the section right around like, I guess probably around here. Okay, that's a little bit separate ways. I'm just saying, I'm not saying, but it's a little bit separate way-ish. I'm not, I'm just saying. But continuing, <laughs> continuing on the journey with me, 
I like how the, the dynamics of the orchestra changed up the sound of the music, the 7-8 time that we had in the beginning there. Things were just a little bit different, which makes me feel like this is perhaps an ode to music, but also a slight progression uh, of music as well. I also see that, uh, I guess, this track music uh, had, uh, had some chart success. Number one on the Dutch singles chart, three on the UK singles, and ten on the German. Uh, and all, <laughs> oh, look at this. Hey. You know who's producing this uh, this track here? I wasn't going to say, uh, you know, sometimes I need to say things. I, I was thinking it reminded me a little bit of Alan Parsons' project, but I didn't want to say it in case, like, I don't know, I just didn't say it. Uh, but, well, guess who's, look who's producing this one. <laughs> uh, no, no one other than Mr. Parsons himself. And then the actual orchestral arrangement is by Andrew Powell uh, here. I mean, just absolutely wonderful. Sounds sounds great. Um, Powell, who's had experience, of course, with Alan Parsons, but also Kate Bush, The Kick Inside, which we've listened to, uh, and many, many others uh, going on here. But just wonderful music. Um, I, like I said, I don't know anything about John, so I can't tell you if this is like what he normally sounds like with this type of music or if this is the, kind of the outlier. Um, but either way, I think that this was a, a fantastic track to listen to. Very well sung. I like his voice a lot actually as well so uh thank you guys for the recommendation of course you can let me know your thoughts down below in the comments below you can follow me on twitter you can support the channel and what i do on patreon i hope that you enjoyed your time here hope that it was time well spent and i hope that you come back tomorrow guys have a great one bye